All praise to the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and you see the title: Coronavirus infected mink spotted rising from their graves after mass burials. Images from a military base in Denmark show appears to show the cold minks resurfacing, but there's a scientific explanation for the ghoulish scene. There just might be, but you know, the Most High is still allowing all this to happen. This is Jeremiah 21 and 6. And I will strike down the inhabitants of this city, both man and beast. They shall die of a great pestilence. Next, they had to kill. Look at this. All these white little spots you see is um, dead minks. Legend they had to kill up to 17 million of them. Yeah. And then they're filling up with gas and they're rising back up to the surface. And they got a whole different strain of COVID. You know? So, yeah. The most high is doing this. All right. Cold coronavirus infected minks have been spotted rising from their mass graves. Pictures from a military complex in Holsterow, Denmark, appeared to show thousands of minks resurfacing after they were killed due to concerns over the spread of the disease. Denmark implemented a nationwide call of all minks after it became apparent that the animals were carrying a mutated strain of COVID 19 which could be more resistant to vaccines. And see, these vaccines ain't going to work. These vaccines will make people sick. Watch what I tell you. You know, when images of the infected main graves were shared online, they were described as zombies that looked like had returned to life. Yeah, I'm quite sure that was a terrifying thing. And this is Exodus 9 and 6, and the next day the Lord did this thing. All the livestock of the Egyptians died, but not one of the livestock of the people of Israel died. Yeah, because a lot of the stuff that's going on is going to affect the Gentiles, you know, the heathen, and the two-third, but it's not going to affect the one-third, you know. All right, let's keep going. But, in fact, there's a more scientific explanation for the bizarre incident. They used to always saying they got a scientific uh, explanation for everything, you know. Experts say natural gas that form in their stomachs during decomposition and the light saying the earth used to bury them and the mass graves contributed to the resurfacing. All right, let's keep going. Thomas Christensen, a police spokesman, told DR, Danish news outlet, gases are formed during decomposition, which causes the body to swell a little, and in worst cases, they get pushed up, up out of the ground. So me as I'm buried, and they moving around because gases pushing each other out of the ground. Okay. Originally, the mix were only being buried one meter deep in the mass graves. So they didn't push themselves out of three feet because they swelling up. All right. But will now be buried under 2.5 meters of soil, which is seven feet. And their eyes guarded to prevent any risk of infection. So now they're saying you can get this infection from the mix. And here it is. They spraying them with calcium oxide. You know, try to kill off the infection. All right, let's keep going. The country has been trying to get the mink infections under control, but outbreaks at farms have persisted. There goes the most high is bringing everything down. You know, now they're saying dogs and cats can get it. Now it's in the wastewater. Now it's in, um, it's in the food. Now it's in the air. Now it's this. Now it's that. Now you got to get a vaccine for this. Now you got to test negative for that. I mean, they they just going to keep going and going and going. And the most, since that's what they want to do, I'm quite sure the most high going to keep, you know, allowing them to keep going and going, you know. And it's going to be a new infection or something crazy. And, you know, they got wild polio breaking out in Africa. And they got a um, black plague starting to make a comeback, you know. So it's going to be one thing at another at another. Hey, all praises for that. All right, let's keep going. Since June, um, 214 COVID-19 cases have been identified to be linked to the mink strain of the virus. With 12 cases identified as a, as a unique variant. Now, they're saying that this COVID had already mutated over 150 times. So how is they going to stop it? You know? They think they're in control, but they're not the most highest. As Europe's largest producer and exporter of mink furs, the call will kill as, as many as 17 million animals. It costs the state up to 800 million. 
The World Health Organization said in a statement, the Danish mink mutation has moderately decreased sensitivity to neutralizing antibodies. So now that what they're saying is that the COVID sensitivity decreased to the antibodies. So now they are already not responding. And excavated loads dead mink into a ditch as members of Danish health authorities dispose of the animals. This means there is a chance it could be more resistant to vaccines, see? But the new strain is not well understood and more research is underway. And they're saying it can jump, you know? But the efforts to push the coal forward ran in opposition from politicians and Danish make farmers. We are asking to have it, the evidence sent over so we can assess the technical basis. A spokesperson for the Lib- Liberal Party told broadcasters TV2 on Wednesday. All right. Of course, we must not be the cause of a new pandemic. We do not know the professional basis for this assessment at risk, but the government's decision is a disaster for the industry in Denmark. Chairman Tage Pendison said that it closed down everything. It's the time that we live in, you know. You know, they say the most high ruler in the kingdom of men. Their time is up. The Industry Association for Danish Make Farmers branded it a black day for Denmark and said the government's decision was a death nail for the country's pelt industry. Opposite to the cold war, it is an overreaction and that it will kill off a thriving industry. Animal rights groups have generally welcomed the move as an end to an industry they brand cool and unnecessary. Yeah, let the most high bring it down. France has instituted a similar call, but on a much smaller scale, killing 1,000 animals so far. All right. I think that's it, Yasharala. And then we'll get two more scriptures and go ahead and close it out. Yeah, I just want to let y'all know you got zombie dead. Now you got dead zombie mink carcasses rising up out of the ground. You know, when we living in some interesting and beautiful times. All right, this is Jeremiah 19 and 8. And I will make this city a horror, a thing to be hissed at. Everyone who passes by it will be horrified and will hiss because of all its wounds. Yeah, because I'm quite sure that people... They're going by this, and that shit probably, it's probably terrifying them, you know, just to see all these dead animals and know that they was buried and they rising up, you know. All right. And this is Habakkuk 3 and 5. Before him went pestilence and plague followed at his heels. Yeah, because it seemed like wherever this man's going at, you know, plagues are starting to follow, you know. Like I said, you got the zombie there. You still got the mad cow disease. Um, you got the black plague. You know, you still got Fukushima. You know, you got a dome over a radioactive place uh, over there um, near Hawaii. They said that dome collapsing. I mean, it's, it's just a lot of stuff going on. You know, and all praise to the most high because it seemed like he just speeding up the days and everything is speeding up fast. So, yeah, just they prayed up. You know, stay on your watch, Yasharala. I'll tell you, a lot of stuff is happening. All right, so, um, yeah, I just want to let y'all know, you know, now you got zombie mink, you know. So, yeah, hopefully you was edified as I was and on to the next one, Shalom.